Hi. Welcome to my channel. I will tell you story. The title is Devastating Earthquake. A apparently perfect day turns disastrous when California's infamous San Andreas Fault causes the greatest recorded earthquake, magnitude 9. Ray Gaines, an LAFD search and rescue helicopter pilot. Atalie is traveling through the San Fernando Valley when her automobile is pushed over the edge by a rock slide, causing it to tumble hard down the hill and trapping her and her car in a wedge over certain doom. Ray Gaines and his rescue squad fly in from their helicopter to save Natalie. Joby, one of Ray's buddies, descends on a rope in an attempt to stabilize the automobile. Joby's arm is pinched against the hill as the car slides. Ray rushes down and takes Natalie out of the car before it crashes to the ground. With his strong arm, Joby offers Ray a thumbs up. Dr. Lawrence Hayes is giving a lecture to his students at Caltech about the history of severe earthquakes around the world. Following that, Lawrence is approached by his friend and colleague Dr. Kim Park regarding some nearby seismic activity. Ray wants to spend quality time with his daughter Blake on his day off. To make matters worse, Ray receives an envelope containing divorce papers. He enters Blake's old room and discovers a photograph of the three of them, as well as Ray's second daughter Mallory, who sadly drowned in a rafting accident. Lawrence and Kim travel to Hoover Dam to monitor and record earthquake activity. Kim detects an even larger shake occurring at the same time. Lawrence orders everyone to leave the dam. The ground is shaking and the dam begins to crumble. Kim notices a tiny child hiding in fright as everyone else flees. As the concrete beneath his feet begins to crack, Kim throws the tiny child to Lawrence, knowing he won't make it. After Kim's foot becomes impaled by a steel bar, Kim is carried away when the dam bursts. Lawrence stands helpless as his friend dies and the structure is collapsed. Ray meets with Blake, Emma, and Daniel before embarking on a trip to Daniel's house in San Francisco. Ray is dismayed to find that Emma has already moved in with Daniel in a new high-rise that he helped build. Ray is called back to work to assist in the rescue of disaster victims in Nevada. The two fly to San Francisco, where Daniel tells Blake that he has no intention of replacing her father. Daniel and Blake travel to San Francisco for a business meeting. As Daniel is in a conference, Blake meets an Englishman named Ben Taylor who is conducting an interview. Serena, a reporter, approaches Lawrence about the recent incident in Nevada. Lawrence conducts the interview despite his reservations in Kim's death. It is cut short when some of Lawrence's colleagues notice increased seismic activity around the San Andreas Fault. Lawrence realizes that all of the major cities are doomed. She meets Ben's younger brother Ollie. Ben and Blake are clearly drawn to each other, but Ben becomes irritated when Ollie continues to talk to Blake. Ben leaves Ollie with Blake to do an interview with Daniel. She writes down her phone number for Ben after a while of conversing. Meanwhile, Emma is having lunch with Daniel's sister Susan in Los Angeles, who is snobbish and makes an inappropriate statement about Mallory's death. Emma answers the phone from Ray, who is flying in his chopper. Emma notices the cutlery on the table trembling as they chat. Ray watches a roadway collapse from his vantage point. He orders Emma to run to the roof so he can find her. The earthquake continues, with debris falling and crushing victims. According to Caltech, the first big earthquake had a magnitude of 8.5. A massive earthquake begins to shake the entire structure. Daniel and Blake are being driven away from the parking garage. The driver is crushed and killed and Blake's legs are pinned down. Daniel claims he'll get aid, but he flees and informs the guard that Blake is trapped down there. Ben notices and rushes downstairs with Ollie to save her. They attempt to remove the rubble, but it is too heavy. Ben searches the trunk for something to raise the car while simultaneously flattening the tires in order to take Blake out before she is fully crushed. The earthquake is throughout California and making its way to San Francisco. Susan rushes out the door, only to fall to her death since a section of the building has collapsed. Emma tries to direct people to the roof, but everyone flees. When she reaches the roof, she sees the other buildings collapse. Ray locates her just before the building begins to burn. He tosses down a safety harness for her to catch. Emma rushes to it just as the building is about to collapse. Ray takes her away in his plane. As the aftershocks continue, the three flees the building. 
Blake joins the brothers on their journey to the streets. Lawrence and his colleagues are scrambling to discover ways to alert the public about the impending disaster. They go to an electronics store to phone Ray and tell them she's fine. Blake informs her parents that Daniel abandoned her, although she is currently with Ben and Ollie. They agree to meet at Colt Tower to be rescued. Emma contacts Daniel after they hang up with Blake and leaves a scathing message on Daniel's voicemail. Ray and Emma rush to San Francisco in order to save their daughter. Daniel is walking through the city when another earthquake strikes. To dodge the strong gust of wind that follows, he pushes a man holding onto a post. On their way to the city, the helicopter's engine malfunctions. Forcing them to crash land in a Bakersfield supermarket, they notice someone robbing a business and then notice a pickup truck. Ray attempts to hotwire it until he is threatened with a gun to the head. Ray snatches the gun, knocks him out, and then drives away in the automobile. Lawrence is able to alert the public about a much larger earthquake that is coming to strike San Francisco, urging them to go as soon as possible because the following series of quakes is likely to be significantly more strong and felt all the way on the East Coast. Throughout their journey, they keep talking about what happened to Mallory and how it affected them and their marriage. They drive by an elderly couple who are flagging them down. They come to a halt just before a gigantic opening along the San Andreas Fault that separates the Earth. Ray and Emma return to the couple and express their gratitude for the warning. Ray discovers that the man owns a jet, which they exchange for the truck. While on the plane, Ray recounts what happened to their daughter. Ray feels disappointed that he was unable to save his daughter. This is the real reason Emma wants a divorce. Ray successfully fly the plane to San Francisco. Blake, Ben, and Ollie continue trekking and come across Colt Tower in flames. They find a fire vehicle and gather some supplies. Blake then decides to travel to Knob Hill in order to gain higher ground. Ray and Emma arrive in San Francisco, but they are unable to land due to the airport's numerous cracks and scattered planes. Ray and Emma are forced to skydive into the stadium after the jet runs out of fuel and crashes into the Pacific Ocean. Meanwhile, Blake, Ben, and Ollie are walking down a desolate street when a powerful earthquake strikes. The magnitude of the earthquake is 9.6, making it the largest ever recorded. The glass fragments from the structure sever Ben's leg. The remaining structures are destroyed, the ground ruptures, suspension bridges collapse, and so on. At the same moment, Ray tries to warn others to flee to the other side of the stadium as the structure collapses. Blake delicately removes the glass shard from Ben's leg after the earthquake, and they proceed to the highest ground. Water is retreating swiftly, indicating that a tsunami is approaching the city. As the three hears the tsunami warning on the radio, it is too late for them to flee to higher ground. Ray and Emma manage to drive into the massive tidal wave in their boat, along with many other vessels. They reach the top just as the wave crests, but are nearly hit by a cargo ship dragged along by the tidal wave. A crashing shipping container from the wrecked cargo ship crushes Daniel. However, the majority of those on the ground get washed away by water and debris. A massive tsunami is on its way to smash the city. The flood rises and slams against the city. When the tidal wave hits, the three is still inside the building. Ray and Emma navigate the boat through the damaged town in search of Blake. Ollie notice Blake's parents in the boat and call Blake. Ollie then draws Blake's parents' attention with a laser pointer he obtained from an electronics store. Now the parents notice them, but the structure begins to sink into the earth before they can save them. Blake becomes separated from his two brothers as they ascend to the next floor. The building then begins to sink, causing the water level to rise. Ray kisses Emma and swears to find a way to get their girl out. Ray discovers Blake confined in another room because the door will not budge. While Ray fights to break her free, she tells him she loves him. Ray pulls her out as she passes out. Ray performs CPR on Blake, but she appears to be dead. Emma rams the boat into the building, allowing everyone to escape before the structure collapses. Ray does not give up and eventually revives Blake, and reuniting with her family. The two boys are saved as well. The family and brothers seek safety at a camp in Marin County. The family, together with Ben and Ollie, watch the sunset over the San Francisco Bay Area. She thanks Ben for being there for Blake. They also notice an American flag flying over the now-demolished Golden Gate Bridge. What now? 
Emma inquires of Ray. Now we rebuild, he says. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button and notification bell to watch more videos like this.